Okay, so that's views across asset classes. Uh, Michelle Akluver is portfolio strategist at uh, Global X ETFs, uh, and uh, uh, we have uh, Michelle joining us now. Michelle, great to have you with us here. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, your time on CNBC TV 18. How are things uh, uh, looking, Michelle, to your mind, both in terms of flows and uh, uh, sort of uh, yeah, flows towards emerging markets to begin with? In the environment that we've got out there in the US, one noticeable factor after this FOMC meet that we've had is that the rest of the globe has fared much better as compared to US equities, which sold off more. Go on. Yeah, so certainly coming out of the Fed, there was a shift in rhetoric, um, shifting the focus away from the speed of rate hikes towards the level and the time that the Fed remains restrictive. And so that had a large impact on the terminal rate that markets are expecting for the Fed to get to. And so that also impacts the discount rate for U.S. equities. Um, and this had a large impact on the U.S. market. Um, there had been a large amount of focus on the potential for a shift to a, um, a slower trajectory um, for the December meeting with possibly possibility of a 50 basis point raise at that meeting. That's still potentially on the table. It's about a 50-50 between the 50 basis points and the 75 basis points at that meeting. Um, but that's still um, with the increased focus on level and time that we stay at the higher rates um, has shifted the narrative away from the potential of slowing. This does still leave the potential for that. Um, then shifting focus to emerging markets and other markets. Um, most of this year, we've had a bit more caution towards emerging markets, and we certainly had seen lower levels of flows into that space. Um, but at the same time, during October, there was more interest in the area um, as equity markets were doing a lot better. Um, the dollar strength has been a factor that has been impacting into the emerging market space as well. Um, but in this current environment, obviously, there's a lot of focus on central banks, also with um, Bank of England this morning, also raising 75 basis points. So Got it's it. certainly a very hot environment. Got it. Michelle, good morning. So you did say that there's a 50 basis points rate hike in the December meeting by the Fed, which is still on the table, right? Uh, do you think that has been priced in by global equities? Because this week itself, we've seen uh, the US markets fall about 4-5%. You think most of the bad news is in the price, or could there be more to go? It's difficult to say. Um, obviously, there is also the concerns about um, potential recession. Um, what was the news coming out of the UK this morning was leaning more into the recession risks, um, while the information out of the Fed from yesterday was leaning more into um, the discount rate. And so both are risk factors that are putting downward prices on um, share prices. But at the same time, we, there, is, there is a large amount that's already factored into prices. Um, the big factor to be looking at is earnings. Um, it's been a bit mixed, um, where we certainly have been seeing some earnings coming in above expectations, yes. but also some disappointments and guidance also very critical. Hi, Michelle. Morning. Good to speak to you. Uh, you know, talking about earnings, Indian markets are going to give some of the best earnings. The problem is how much of that is already in the price. Now, Chinese, they have, that market has underperformed. A whole host of issues out there. But valuation-wise, that's attractive. Between these two, you know, which, uh, which one would you prefer at these valuations? Um, there's a lot of political overhang within the Chinese market at the moment, yes. which makes it a lot more difficult from an investment standpoint because everything comes down to a policy choice. And so um, within the current environment, I find that's a challenging environment to um, suggest, although the valuations are attractive. And because of that, I would say, India is looking a little bit more attractive. Okay, on that very optimistic note, we will thank you, Michelle, for joining in. Have a great day. And uh, thanks for being with us on CNBC TV 18. Uh, well, uh, that's uh, a global portfolio strategist saying that India is looking quite attractive given all the global uh, 
uh, uncertainties. Let's slip into a quick break. There are plenty of stocks to talk about. So without wasting any time, a quick commercial break. And our entire team will be with us in just moments from now. Stay tuned.